Hello and welcome to tutorial number four in the CB query field series. Uh, let's just review what we did in tutorial number three. We basically created two query fields and we placed them in our query fields tab. One was basically counting the number of published articles that this user has in the Joomla database. And the second was counting the number of unpublished articles that the user had in the Joomla database. Today we'll be working on a third um, CB field and I have it ready and I'll just review it. It's CB query field 3 and basically what this does is it'll publish a list of articles. Okay so let me just go ahead and publish this and let's review the code. So the CB query field 3 basically is again query field type, query type, and I'm putting it in the query fields tab, and I'm marking it not to show on registration, and I'm also marking it to show on a profile but in two lines with the title. So the title will be on the top, and then the whole space will be available for the field. This way it takes up more area uh, in the profile page. We'll see how this looks in a second. So we go to our parameters field here and the query that we're going to be working off is kind of similar to the ones in the previous uh, tutorials but what we're going to be doing now is not we're not counting we're going to be selecting three of the columns available in the content table. We're going to be basically selecting the title the created, which is the date that the, this uh, article is created, and the state. Remember, the state is one or zero, depending on if it's published or not published. And actually, I should change this. Instead of published articles, let's just call it articles list. That's, it fits better. OK, so what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the title, created, and state uh, columns from the content table where created by is the user okay i'm not filtering by uh the state as i did before in the other examples and what i'm going to do is also order the results uh by the created by date in descending order so what basically i want the new articles to appear on top and then in descending order all the other articles internal mode is again selected and just let's just remember the names here title created and state okay these are the three columns so let's go to the display now display here the output before we had single row now we have multiple rows and once we select multiple rows we have three parameter uh, frames appearing one is the header the second is the row and the third is the footer so what this basically does is it'll start outputting first I'll put one time the header and then for every row the select returns it'll run this one time so it's basically looping off this middle parameter and then when it's finished no more rows are selected it'll close with the footers so what I'm doing basically here let me just open this up uh, again this is not an HTML uh, tutorial uh, but I'm just explaining what I'm doing. I'm going to have a table, basically. And I'm putting IDs here in case somebody wants to style with CSS uh, externally. So it's basically a table ID. It's a table. And the heading, there are three columns. Uh, the article title, the date, and the state. And I'm saying, like, the article title takes 70% of the total width available the date will take 20 and the state will take 10 percent so it's 70 and 20 and 10 is 100 so that takes care of the the headers and then i'm stopping the header part at opening a t-body uh, tag and i'm closing the t-body and the table actually in the footer tag and what i'm doing here is i'm just repeating table rows uh, one for, and this is important here, 
uh, in order for, and you can look at, you can see that in the tooltip, okay, uh, in order to substitute the actual results of the query, I'm using bracket column underscore title, bracket column underscore created, close bracket, and column underscore state. So basically, column underscore is a prefix and then the name of the field I queried, the name of the column I queried in the query statement. Again, I'll be including these in the comments of the video, so you don't have to worry if you're not seeing this correctly. Uh, but that's basically what has to be done. So let me just save this. And let's go and refresh our demo site here and see what happens. So I'm refreshing. Let me scroll down and find the query fields tab here. Click on that. We see we have our first two fields I've created in the previous tutorials. And then I have the articles list, which is actually the uh, the name of the field. And the, the article's title, date, and state are the header, the headers of the table I created. And it's followed by the titles of each article, the date the article was created, and the state uh, flag, whether it's published or not. So again, we have one unpublished. That's why the zero is here. Matches with the count we have here. And everything else is published. So we see how powerful this could be to query uh, a table and bring back results and even format them in a pretty good way. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.